I can't believe your talk show is such a huge hit for the brewery. And thanks to that, I'm now a huge social media star. Hello, Griffin family. I'm coming to you live via Living Room Hologram. I'm Parker Stanton, CEO of Boop. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk, talk later. later. Look, Peter, the reason I'm here is because of your six-second talk show. I want you and your family to visit us here as my guests so I can find out what the next big thing is. Oh, I, I got lots of ideas. Look at it. Excuse me, can I help you? Kick it! Oh, this is exciting. A family trip. Yeah, I love traveling. All right, the museum is that way, so let's fold the map and go. Okay, a couple more folds. Nope, okay, wrong end. Not a puzzle, Chris. But you gotta fold on the creases. I'd be able to find the creases if somebody had folded it correctly last time. I did fold it correctly. You ripped it up when you were tearing through the backpack for your snacks. Okay, this is why I wanted to bring a globe. All right, you don't have to fold a globe. And food, and they're tearing each other apart. Where to next, mon chéri? As our name suggests, our mainframe connects to and powers virtually every server on the globe. Hey, Parker. Are we still on for the Samsung Galaxy Note meeting after lunch? Yep. Where's your nearest bathroom? Gender fluid? Yes, there will be a lot of that. Must be one of them high-tech Japanese toilets. Electric urine. And make the spark so much fun. Frame is having a meltdown! Hang on, let me flush. Down the entire internet! How could you do that? This is the most irresponsible thing that Although I was incensed by this man, as a man who struggles with body dysmorphia, I couldn't help but be impressed by that kind of self-confidence. Years later, we would bump into each other at a small cafe in Rome and reminisce about this moment. But that's a story for another time. Or, as they say in Italian, molto homo. To be the dumbest yet. Look at the chaos you've caused. I have no idea how to drive without texting. <laughs> Settle down, Brian. I'm sure life will be just fine without the internet. Maybe we can even go see that Amish comedian. Dead. Dead. Barely alive. To the airport. You can't stare at your phone anymore. Enjoy a disturbingly loud clip of Jimmy Fallon on cab TV. This. This is why Uber. On CBS. Well, that's not gonna work. Okay, everybody, don't panic. We'll just do what people did before the internet. Chris, I told you that in confidence. Dad, you gotta do something. Nobody can live without the internet. It's even worse than when I was roommates with Oscar Pistorius. Somebody's in here. Somebody's in here. What are you talking about? We can do all the things we loved about the internet. We just gotta do it without technology. Write it on a piece of paper, staple it to a bird, and throw it out the door. Great news, Chris. I figured out how to recreate the best part of the internet. Great, let's see them. Sure, buddy. But first, you have to watch this unwelcome pop-up ad. They're really good pictures, Chris. Number three will shock you. Okay, I'll press it. Which also has additional pop-ups. This is a nightmare! Just tell me one of them! Kenan Thompson. Jeez, okay, calm down. Left! Take a left immediately! <laughs> no. Try new Domino's Pizza. Hey, Peter, who are these guys? Oh, this is just my looping gif of black teens reacting to a very mild burn. Oh, you mean like your feet? Ah! <laughs> All right, trying to be the internet is impossible. You know, when my phone gets wet, I just put it in a bag of rice. Shut up, Meg. That's dumb. Bag and a lot of rice. You sure that's gonna work? Eh, worth a shot. Like the men who built New York City. Grueling, thankless, life-threatening work. But just remember... We're doing this so that one day, and amateur break dancers! What about public masturbators? Especially public masturbators! Yeah! Look, we're getting a signal! I think we fixed the internet! Something's coming through! Well, I'm glad you got the internet. H hold on. I'm sorry, what, what were you saying? Yeah, sounds good. Your approval. A restaurant full of people so distracted by their phones, just like the Fox Tuesday night lineup. Aha! Yeah! Uh -huh. Stewie, what, what are you doing here? Busting you. You were going to drink that. Technically, no. Do you even hear yourself? Look, I'm going to fix this. All right, we are buying none of these. Please put them back, but we'll take one of these. Oh, Charleston Chew. Good choice. Where are you going? What you looking for? Hello, new friends. Damn it! Pistol!
glorious. He's still a hero to us. So I made it, Cleveland made it, and now you made it, Joe. Yeah, thanks for the recap. Ah, oh, what's wrong, Pete? Oop, 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 oop. Stop it. Stop touching me. Hey, guys, I did it three more times while you were grab acid. Need a lift? <laughs> Ah, dollar! My heart broken, and nothing to console me but the screaming black dolphins. <laughs> oh, dang! Oh, man, you know I'm just playing. Hey, man, you seen that movie, The Code? Oh, Oh, man, you know, what even is a code? <laughs> you ever had your heart broken, Jerome? Hell yeah, man. Married my high school sweetheart. Week after our wedding, she was diagnosed with cancer. You've never seen a casket so small. I hear you. I gave me number to a girl and she threw it away. Son of a... Here and I'm scared of being alone. Don't worry, Peter. Guys? We're right here, Peter. Throw it. <sighs> yes! I've never felt so much power. I'm gonna go have sweaty day sex with my wife. Look who's still standing, bitch. Go buy yourself something nice in hell. Oh, sometimes I come here to think and fart. So, you still up for our date? Our date? But I thought you got rid of the dollar with my number on it. Let me consult me charts and maps. Low tide. Lois, I tossed a penny in a shot glass, so get your pants off and put a towel on the kitchen table. See my big white flailing butt? Get the hell out. I found a dollar. That's great, Bonnie. Let's go to dinner. We can talk all about it. What's there to talk about? I looked down on the ground and there was a dollar. We Jeez, what are you two, dating or something? I don't know. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Whispers. I'm your hostess, Ida, and as always, I am joined by my trusty psychic. <laughs> Trust me, folks, he doesn't. I've tried. <laughs> God, this is going well. I thought the show was really great. Thank you. I couldn't help but notice you talked throughout it. <laughs> oh, no. Now we'll never find it. Hold on. I got an idea. Wow, this place is gross. Yeah, the NBA All-Star game was in town last week. There it is. I got it, Grandpa! Hey, so how much is this rare dollar worth anyway? Oh, well, some dildo wrote his phone number on it, so now it's worth Jack! Ho oh, ho! He's everyone who was in the show! Now, we're gonna blow up the internet. Let's take all that we did today and make it all about Ellen. Did you ever finish that banana, Brian? And Meg, I hope you learned your lesson about drinking. And feel bad once in a while. Well, I hope you know that you're our loser. Thanks, Mom. If my life were better here, would I stop searching for it? Up there? <laughs> you didn't listen to a word Dr. Johan said, did you? No, I did not. I mean, <laughs> the movie Roadhouse. I'm not Arthur Valentine, son. We're so sorry, Chris. There is no Arthur Valentine? We never meant to hurt you, buddy. This is Joe Swanson, signing off. Joe, your mom died. Seriously? Well, that's all we got tonight. Hope you enjoyed it. Yo, don't come to life like Night at the Museum. I just want to talk. Stay away from me. Andy Griffith used to beat me up. Help! Someone! Tim Conway was sleeping with half the Apple Dumpling gang. You're doing the math now, aren't you? I thought a lot about what happened, and I guess, in your own weird way, you were complimenting me. I just wanted to let you know I'm not going to tell anyone about what happened, and maybe we could get that drink tomorrow. Sir, is this your desk, ma'am? Yeah, why, officer? Found it. What is that? Like you don't know. You're gonna have to come with us. 
And Jeff, you might want to call your sponsor. I met you. He did this. He planted that. Martha, I'm so sorry. You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my leg is broken. <laughs>